Hey guys, I got the uh, MSI afterburner up here running on my GTX 1080 FTW. I wanted to show you what my thoughts are on the fan philosophy as far as running your fans, especially when you're gaming. If you look at my fan curve, and by the way, Precision has a completely different fan curve than MSI for whatever reason. If you look at the uh, default curve, they, they run the fan all the time and then they ramp it up at 40, 40 degrees centigrade. Uh, NVIDIA, the Precision software, they don't even start the fan until it gets around 30, 40 degrees. So, and that's sort of my philosophy is why run those fans if you don't need it? 35, 40 degrees centigrade, that's nothing. You don't need a fan for that. So, what I do is when I get to 35, you can see my fan starts easing up. And it ramps up pretty quick. So, because when you're gaming, you're gonna you're gonna start running some pretty high temperatures, and you don't want to screw around waiting for that fan to. Uh, you don't want to screw around waiting for your temperatures to to get hot. You want it, you want those fans cr cranking when you're uh, when you've got that card working like that. So you want to be running up here. 80 to 100 percent, especially if you're in this 60 degree area. So, so I normally run around 58, 60 degrees, something like that when I'm when I'm gaming. That puts me right around the 85 to 90 percent fan percentage, which is just about perfect. And you can feel the air coming out of the cabinet. I've got a uh, cabinet that's just open all the way around. It's a uh, Corsair 750 uh, free airflow, I think it's called. And so I've got plenty of ventilation. I've got a water cooler that's pulling in the uh, Corsair 1080i. It's pu it's pulling. In, so that's some warm air coming in from the chip, but the the uh, the processor is not working that hard. Uh, it's really barely working. The i77K. It's really all about the graphics card when you're gaming. And uh, I've also got the uh, the you know the fans, the two fans on the Nvidia card. That's that's where all the heat's coming from. So the but the cabinet heat is running over a hundred over 100 degree uh, Fahrenheit which is not bad at all but uh, anyway I wanted to show you what my thoughts are on these uh, on these temperatures I like to watch my temperature down here when I've got this software open this is good software this MSI afterburner this is good stuff it works great rock solid uh, as far as overclocking uh, I like to uh, I like to overclock uh, a little bit, not much, but uh, I uh, got to close this far and do that. Huh? But um, I've got one here that I like to run. About all I can overclock is about core clock at eighty. That'll give me about. 2050 uh, megahertz which is really good I don't run my uh, I run in the adaptive mode I don't run in the, the I don't know if it's called aggressive whatever they whatever they call it but uh, I run adaptive because I don't want this thing screaming you know all the time I don't game all the time I do other things besides gaming on this computer so I don't want this thing running at, you know, close to 2100 
hurts constantly and I don't want my fans running that way either. That's why I, I, I'm kind of conservative on my fans until this thing needs it. Then I go balls to the wall. And uh, that, that's, that's kind of my philosophy. That's the way I got it set up. So, uh, just thought I'd pass that on. Give you my tips on it. I'm no expert, but that's just my idea. Adios.